small Suffolk town of Bury St Edmunds is used to Apaches in its skies, but today seemed particularly poignant. Uh, it was absolutely brilliant. It was emotional for us. And in the current climate, the, current the climate, war in Ukraine, yeah, it correct. makes you realise how yeah. very important it is to have uh, these wonderful people that serve our country and we mustn't let lose sight of that. I think we should ask these guys what they thought. What did you think of it, guys? It's good. It's so good. Yeah. It's so good. I, 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 I had a so good time at the, at the hive. I think it's probably quite nice for the troops as well, isn't it, to be appreciated by the town as well. In a way, today marked the changing of the guard. Three Regiment Army Air Corps are the first unit to receive the new Apache attack helicopters, and now they begin their transition. It's a huge jump forward. It looks and sounds like an Apache, uh, but it's fundamentally different. The first squadron starts uh, transitioning to the new aircraft uh, next month. Uh, currently, there's lots of uh, testing, evaluating, and getting the aircraft all ready uh, to, to start flying. Um, and it's a it's, a, it's a, such a big capability set forward that it's, uh, it's a lot of hard work. So uh, both the engineers, the ground crew and the air crew are all uh, working their socks off to, uh, to learn the new capability. Most time the public only see us flying it, all the aircraft flying over. So um, us marching through gives them a face to, to appreciate what work we're doing and why we're doing it. I think the people are very worried about what's going on in the world. I think they worry about our armed forces and a lot of them, of course, these are the sons and daughters and fathers of local people. So they're very worried when we have true combats going on across the world and they have to go. So I think it's really important that they come out here and the people can actually say thank you to them. Having finally managed to mark the 50th anniversary of the regiment, delayed several times due to COVID, they now look ahead to a new aircraft, a new capability, enabling new levels of protection. Hannah King, Forces News, in Bury St Edmunds. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel.